Today we're going to talk about how to extract some information from the Wonderware historian to be able to display that information on an in-touch screen. Specifically, we have some statistical calculations that we can run and display some of those statistics on an in-touch screen or an orchestra graphic, if you will. So we have this new data type within custom properties called history summary. And this is how we actually define these custom properties to be able to extract information from the database. So basically, we select the data type of history summary here, and then we give it a reference name. We point this to an attribute that's being historized. We point it to a different statistic calculation that we want to run on that, whether it's an average, whether it's an integral, whether it's a minimum, maximum. You choose your statistics. We give it the duration, how long we want to go back in time to be able to extract that information. We can give it a start time. It defaults to the current time. And then we can give it a state if we're trying to look at some statistics about a discrete variable, how many times it went on and off, whether it's running or stopped, we define what that state is. So let's go take a look at this live in a demo mode and show you this in action. So if we look at a typical in-touch screen, we have a flow meter being displayed on the screen here, just a simulated variable, and we're showing that instantaneous flow. You know, maybe good enough for an operator to understand what's going on with that process, but if we want to give him some background information, more information about that flow, we can do that through this statistical function, pulling that information from the Wonderware historian. You know, this data is being logged to our historian. We can see from our trend, we're logging the, the flow, we're logging the pump runs going on and off here. That's been around for a long time, and that's a handy tool for the operators to be able to see that. But at one quick glance on an operator screen, if we want to display more information, display some statistics, we can do that. So if I go into my IDE and look at my, my template that I defined here, this template you know, has some variables associated with it. I have a flow, I have a pressure, I have a, a pump run, which is discrete when this pump goes on, and I have a temperature variable there. Also, I have a graphic. If I open up this graphic, right now I'm displaying that instantaneous flow. In this graphic, if I want to configure this to extract some information from the historian, I go to custom properties, right click, go to custom properties, and I've already defined these custom properties. So if I look at the flow average, I define a custom property with a data type of history summary. Previously, I had things like Boolean and flow integers and strings and things like that, but the historian summary data type is new with the 2014 R2 which allows me to go extract that information from the Wonderware database. So I tell it the data type, I tell it the reference, I'm looking at the flow signal of this current object, me.flow. I'm gonna go get the average statistical variable. These are the statistical options I have here, min, max, count, integral, percent good, you know, what percentage of time during that time frame was the variable good coming up from the PLC, was the quality good, good connection to the PLC. Those type of statistical variables are available to me. I give it a duration signal. Right now I'm pointing this to another custom property, which I'm going to change on the fly to define what that duration is, how far back in time, whether it's five minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, whatever it might be, I can define that. I can define a start time, but that start time indeed is defaults to the current time. And I can put in a state here that I want to look at. So if I look at my pump starts, I'm going to go look at my pump run, I want to get a count on that. I want to know the, you know, based on that duration time and when the pump goes to a one condition, when it goes on, I want to count that against my statistical variable that I'm displaying here. So let's go to runtime. I'm going to put some of these on the screen. I've already done this, but I'm displaying this standard deviation, min, average, max, and my count on the screen. I'm going to save and close this graphic. I'm going to check it in. It's going to propagate those down to my in-touch applications. I'm going to go to runtime. I'm going to flip that again. So now you can see I'm displaying my statistics associated with that variable. I'm displaying it against the last five minutes. You can see there's the min, average, max, and that's how many times this pump has cycled during the last five minutes. If I go to 15 minutes, you can see my pump went on or off four times and it changed my statistics. Right, 60 minutes, changing this on the fly. It's going at that time, extracting that information from the Wonderware historian recalculating that statistic and displaying on the screen. So that's all well and good, but having a bunch of numbers on the screen is really not productive for the operator. He can't at a quick glance see what's going on there. So let's go back and add some functionality to this graphic, if you will, and display it in a bar chart format to give him a quick glance of what's going on beyond just a bunch of numbers on the screen. 
right? So I'm going to delete this. Under here, I put a bar chart on here. Basically, that's from the situational awareness gra graphics. So if I go to my graphic toolbox dashboard tools, this chart is what I chose there. And I put that on the screen and I pre-configured it to point to these new uh, parameters that I defined to extract any information from the Wonderware database. Right? So if I click on this guy and I go to custom properties, you can see on bar number one, I'm going to point to my standard deviation, bar two, the minimum, uh, bar three is the average, bar four is the max, and bar five is the pump start, right? So these are those previous custom properties that I defined, and I'm pointing them to which bar I want to use in this, uh, this graphic, if you will. Um, so if I go to runtime, save and close that guy, check him in, go to runtime, I'm going to toggle that so it gets the refresh. So now you can see I have this bar graph kind of showing the statistics that I pulled from the Wonderware database. You know, at a quick glance, I can change the time frame. You can see those statistics change because it's recalculating it based on different times. So you can see, you know, the pump started 19 times during that uh, last hour. So at a quick glance, the operator can see what's going on as opposed to trying to authenticate all those different numbers. They can see this might be a normal condition, and if there's an abnormal situation, it might jump out and grab him. I can set some alarm levels and things like that on that to capture his attention. So this is a template, and I have three of these. So let's say I want to add this to my screen. I go back to my development. I'm going to add these. I'm going to point to my instances. I have this station number two. I also have a graphic that I'm going to link to. I'm also going to point to station number three. You know, I have three of these. I'm going to put them on my screen. I'm going to go to runtime. So now, from a very quick glance, the operator is comparing you know, three different flows, three different pieces of equipment. He can get a good idea what's going on out there in his processes. And he's going to recognize these patterns. And these patterns are going to be a lot easier to see something out of, out of a tolerance condition than just looking like at a bunch of numbers on a screen. So again, this is the ability to extract the information, historical information, create some statistics about that, and we're displaying it with the new uh, situational awareness type graphics to give an operator a pretty good representation of what's going on. Or we can use this to create dashboards, you know, how well your plan is running, what are some statistics that your uh, process control type folks are after. So, just another way to extract information from the Wonderware database beyond just our trending tool or beyond some of the other traditional tools we have. It's a built-in function into the object, into the graphic, to very easily go define what statistics I want to pull out of my database and display very quickly for my operator. Thank you. Need to learn more about this and other in-source products? Check out our training tracks designed to guide you down your learning path for in-source products. Whether you're using a classic InTouch and Historian architecture or using System Platform, we have a track to help you get the most out of your software investment. To register or learn more, click the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching this in-source video.